Hi, I'm Josh Kwok, CTO of Streetwave. Today I'm going to talk about PoE or Power over Ethernet. What is PoE? PoE or Power over Ethernet, it's when they combine power and Ethernet into the same cable to deliver power and Ethernet to a power device such as APs, IP phones or cameras. And they're powered by power sourcing equipment such as a injector, a mid span, or a PoE switch. Now, injector may be small and simple, but it's not always manageable and it can get messy. A mid span is usually rack mountable and it acts like stacking a whole bunch of PoE injectors together. So it works great with networks with existing switches already. And lastly, if you're lucky enough, you may have a PoE switch that combines the network and switching and power onto one device. We're here at a live network trying to turn up some IP cameras and access points using PoE. And you can probably hear the noise as we do this. So if you just bought a brand new access point or a brand new IP phone, IP camera that needs power over Ethernet, then it is a power device that needs something like a power sourcing equipment, such as a PoE switch. It is as easy as just plugging your, your network and getting power and Ethernet together into your device. But what if your PoE switch doesn't have enough power? for your device, especially AC devices, uh, or if your uh, switch itself does not have PoE power. So the ne next simplest thing may be a PoE injector. A PoE injector is real simple. One of their ports will go to the network and the other the ports will combine power and network and go to your device. So in this case, if I was using an injector, I'll plug in the cord, power cord, plug one side into the network switch, then I can technically use another cable to plug into my power device, in this case an AP. Now if you only have one device or two devices, this may be okay. But let's just imagine if you have the more standard, maybe eight, 10, or in our case, We've got a bank of access points to turn on and a bank of IP cameras to turn on. This could get a little messy. So you may end up needing something like this. Power strip full of extra PoE injectors and cable mess. So this is when a mid span comes into play. A mid span almost looks like a whole bunch of power injectors glued together. In this case, this power design mid span has data in and data and power out. And since most mid spans are rack mountable, which means you can a lot of times slide right above and below the existing switch that's in place, maybe you can grab some nice short cables and get them all pre connected. Now I'm gonna plug right this right in, run it right up, get it plugged there, and then just close it. Another benefit of a mid span is many of them has a management port. So you can then log in from the network and power cycle to, uh, certain ports for troubleshooting. You can turn on and off and or even schedule ports to turn on and off at a certain time of the day. Now, let's talk about standards. First, we have the most popular 802.3AF PoE, also known as PoE. The 802.3AF PoE can deliver up to 15.4 watts per port. But in applications that needs more than 15.4 watts, we also have the 802.3AT PoE, also known as the PoE+. Standards-based PoEs such as the 802.3AF and AT are also considered active PoEs, which means that power is negotiated. 
This is different than the usually cheaper passive POEs. Passive POEs will send power regardless of what's connected. Next, we have the different voltages. Standard space POE are all 48 volt, but non-standard space POE can come in different voltages. So make sure you purchase the correct power sourcing equipment or POE injector, especially when you're using them with outdoor wireless broadband equipment that usually use a lower voltage than the standard 48 volt. Lastly, POE injectors and other power sourcing equipment can come in 10100 megabits or 10100 1000. So be sure to select the right POE injector for your application, especially when you're using dual band access points or AC access points. Thank you for joining us for another Learning Center video on Streakwave TV. Please visit Streakwave's YouTube channel for more videos or visit us online at streakwave.com.